hi welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you a quick way of adding a bounce to an existing animation using the bounce interpolation now i use this a lot when i want to quickly add a bounce to a concept video or to maybe a secondary object in an animation all right so i'm going to do this by animating this cube falling from a height first of all let's go to the front view by hitting one on the numpad and let's move the cube so that it sits on the ground plane all right so i'm going to move it one unit up so hit gen z and one on the keyboard and next let's set a keyframe for this position on frame 20 all right so let me set this uh, to frame 20 and hit i on the keyboard and select location and now let's head over to frame one and let's move the cube up so that um, it starts from this initial position uh, let's hit i on the keyboard and let's select location again all right now if i should play this animation you can see that this is quite a boring animation all right and we are going to make things a little bit interesting by adding the bounce interpolation all right to do this uh, first of all i want to switch the timeline to the graph editor uh, this will allow me to see uh, the curve for the bounce. So uh, first of all, let me bring up the different channels for the X, Y, and Z locations. Um, since the animation is along the Z axis, I do not need the X and Y location, all right? So let me select the X location, hit X on the keyboard to delete it. Select the Y location and hit X on the keyboard to delete it. Now let me bring the graph for the Z um, location into focus. And to do this, let me just select both keys and hit the period key on the numpad to zoom in. And next, I'm going to select the first key and go to the key menu and choose um, interpolation mode and select bounce. Now, as you can see, the interpolation between the two keys is that of a bounce. So I'm going to play this animation. And as you can see, this will look much more interesting. All right, this looks really, really interesting. Um, if you want to shorten the animation and make the bounce faster, uh, you can select the key after the bounce and move this to the left, okay, to squeeze the bounce and the bounce interpolation will automatically adjust to uh, fit the timing of the animation. So I'm going to go ahead and play this again. And if we should move this to the right, as you can see, this uh, slows down the animation and also adjusts the bounce accordingly. All right, so that is all. Thank you for watching. And um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. I will see you in another tutorial.